All right, so the Batman. The Batman. We are here to discuss about the movie that we watched. Hopefully, the movie that everyone watched recently. Hopefully you watched. <laughs> Hopefully, the movie that you watched. Uh, so, how we are going to structure this episode is, multiple. Uh, we will talk about the episode in a very non-spoiler way, mm. generally, and then ultimately we will uh, talk about all the spoilers about everything that happened in detail. I see. Um, okay. And then before we get to the spoilers, Jeeva ka attack guy will put some sort of symbol uh, on the screen so you guys know when the spoilers begin. Um, right. So uh, my first question to you is: Now, obviously, it's a three-hour-long movie. Hmm. It's a long-ass movie. There's a lot to unpack there. Definitely. Um, in those, in the duration of those three hours. what one thing about the movie stood out to you the most okay so first impressions um, as soon as i went in and i sat down and i realized okay this is the movie i'm watching i have to tell you i didn't i didn't even i watched the first trailer obviously mm. and i didn't watch a single publication or a, or a or material that was related to this movie because i wanted to have a fresh mm. idea because mm. last time i watched the batman movie the hype messed it up for me all oh, right right okay so, okay okay so so okay. the first look that i had of the movie was a quite genuinely a first look okay right so when i went in and i saw the movie i first thing i realized is the tone of the movie it was mm. quite dark mm. and and that works for the movie we'll we'll talk about why yeah that worked and then the second thing that stood out for me throughout the movie and and from the first scene itself uh, going into after the introduction of batman was the fact that batman was human mm. like rather than the ben affleck no. version of more, batman that more fleshed out more fleshed out he gets beaten up uh, uh, things like that happen so mm. that stood out to me as a second most important yeah. thing thirdly how his um, role as a detective or, or his ability to uh, sort of investigate huh. Uh, basically, we've I'm we've never seen that version of Detective Batman before. Only in the obviously on, only in the comics yes, and and the yes, cartoons. Yes. Not in a live not action in, movie. Yeah, and no, uh, no. if you if you take a look look at let's take the modern history. Mm. Uh, Batman by uh, yes, Christopher like, Nolan. Ah, oh, <laughs> I okay. thought you were talking about. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So Christopher Nolan's Batman and and Ben Affleck mm. uh, made mm. the Batman versus Superman Batman the Justice League Batman. Both of them are mostly quite invincible. You mm. can't basically touch. I mean, Ben Affleck literally beats the Superman. Yes. But if this Batman is pitched against Superman, he'll get his ass handed for sure. So there is that human nature. And for me, watching the movie entirely in its entirety made me understand that that works too. I mean, it was a very good movie for sure. I mean, uh, yeah, for me definitely, uh, what stood out the most was. Uh, so I went in the opposite direction. I mean, I normally when I go into a movie, I don't mind spoilers at all. Yeah, I have this theory. Uh, I mean, everything is subjective as I always say, but I have this theory that if uh, you watch a movie, mm. uh, if if you if there's something about the movie that can spoil it for you, that movie isn't a good movie. Kela, matter personal theory ka thi no. So I, I I know it doesn't apply to every movie. I know it doesn't apply to everyone. Mm. But for me. If something can spoil a movie for me, even reading the entire script of the movie, if it can take out of take anything out of that movie watching experience for me, then it's not a good movie. For right. Me. Simple as right. that. Right. Right. So I actually did my research before going into the movie, uh, and then uh, something very interesting that I found out was uh, Matt Reeves, the director, while he was writing the script for the movie, has apparently been listening to a lot of Nirvana, the band, and. It's that grunge rock music that has inspired him to do this movie. Right. And uh, so I went into the movie knowing this. And after the film, I will tell you, you can actually see that sort of emo grunge <laughs> punk rock yeah, vibe yeah, yeah. in the movie. You know. Yeah, yeah. yeah Which yeah. is awesome because we've never seen that iteration of Batman before. Definitely, as you say now, when you take a look at it, Batman is emo and yes. Can, Yes. And the emo Batman works. I mean, I mean, we've seen definitely in the comics versions of this yeah. particular Batman. Yeah. Uh, but not definitely not in a not in a movie sense, like not in a live action movie. Uh, all that being said, uh, the second thing that we should, I think, talk about is the fact that the casting from 
uh, Falcon to uh, the Catwoman to Gordon to Penguin Penguin to, to the Riddler to the Riddler I mean yeah it's uh, it's the movie is bloody packed right it's I mean it's packed I mean imagine yeah. the number of characters but they give enough screen time to all these main characters which is awesome and everyone had a monologue uh, monologue at the going into the movie yes. at at some point they had their own uh, piece basically and um, if you notice the casting uh, except for penguin all of them are british yes pattinson to all of these people mm-hmm. so they've done a good job mm-hmm. with the with the casting mm-hmm. but uh, what i wanted to tell you is now when you take a look at batman per se or the, or the characters that have played batman or, or the people who have played the character over the years pattinson is he stood out for what harry potter and probably twilight like the mm. masters got no me yes very good movies but yes. these two are something that are known almost by every movie watcher um and coming into a movie like batman after that with after the character was recently played by uh, ben affleck and mm. there is a debate on whether he was a good batman or yeah. christopher nolan's version of batman was i think everyone batman. has their pick of who their favorite batman yeah, is there are some people who still love michael keaton yeah so, so that's that's yeah. where i'm going uh, christian bale ben affleck pattinson where do you stand and michael keaton oh well. yeah keaton that's one hell of a question um i would still go with ben affleck number 1 number 1 okay because for me that was the most comic book accurate uh batman for different reasons um that i've seen on the silver screen hmm silver screen yeah mukad again in the in the in, in the, the movie <laughs> in the cinema um it's not just his physicality but i think zack snyder who was the director of uh, batman vs superman which was the first uh, appearance of ben affleck as batman he understood that uh the true face of batman the true face of the character is actually batman and that bruce wayne is actually the alter ego mm-hmm. not the other way around right 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 again again from the moment his parents died this bugger was so traumatized that's the point where he became batman, batman. and he never stopped becoming he never stopped being batman yeah. from that point onwards bruce wayne is his alter ego bruce bruce wayne is the mask that he puts on right and this was something that that the director sax snyder really understood and you see that in the acting of ben affleck as well mm. so for that reason i really love the version of ben affleck and obviously he was bloody bad as that scene in the warehouse that warehouse yeah, yeah, action yeah, yeah. scene yeah, in yeah. uh batman was superman was like one of the do best action scenes, scenes right the, do you bleed scene? yes yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no no the warehouse scene where he fights these thugs to res- uh, to rescue martha oh yeah 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 when, when they, they when they become friends basically yes, when, yes. as they go along towards yeah, yeah, the end okay. of the movie yeah, yeah yeah that fight scene was straight mm. out out of the comics yeah, yeah. some yeah. violent some graphic little number. nonsense <laughs> next level yeah so okay ben affleck number 1 number 2 ben affleck number 1 um I think uh, I'd have to give number 2 to Pattinson. Hmm. Robert Pattinson has to be number 2. Number 3. So this is the thing, right? Um I see The Dark Knight uh by Christopher Nolan where uh Christian Bale played the Batman is my favorite my second favorite movie of all time. First is a movie called Minority Report with Tom Cruise in it yeah. <laughs> for for different reasons, but um, we'll talk about that also. <laughs> maybe maybe in a different maybe episode. Maybe different episode. Take it when you when you episode that current day now. Anyway, so The Dark Knight is one of my favorite movies of all time, uh, but I never really bought into that uh, into Christian Bale's Batman for some reason. Again, I mean maybe it's his. physicality or maybe something that he brings maybe it's maybe he didn't feel intimidating enough for me for some reason mockery i i don't know what the reason is um maybe i should think about it but then i i don't know um so number 3 would be michael keaton for me hmm. and then christian bale christian bale number 4 i on the other hand have a very different opinion about this uh i think uh, christian bale is number 1 for me for the simple reason that the mo- the overall movie in the scope of all these batman movies mm. made a bigger impact 
so okay. therefore mm. obviously he's the batman who made that impact so therefore sure. he deserves to be on top mm. uh ben Aff- um it's a very tough one between ben affleck and paddington to be very honest um but um, as much as i would uh, think of ben affleck being on the second position uh, being the second best batman i think paddington deserves it yeah for the for the not not okay acting wise yes he he deserves some somewhere on the top list but it was i'm i'm talking about the entire movie so ah, how okay. how he lifted the movie oh, okay, as the okay, okay, as the okay. main character right. not just individually robert pattinson ah okay 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 right so right, 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 okay. so for that reason i think pattinson deserves to be on the second spot ben affleck on third and keaton last um something that i wanted to mention earlier is so you we we talked about how we get to see the detective batman mm. in this movie right mm. something that we haven't seen in the big screen in a long time or yeah. maybe hardly ever i don't yeah hardly uh, ever probably there was a little bit of detective batman that we saw in bvs batman vs superman or uh, where he maybe goes after this uh, this sort of like russian mafia bugger or yeah, yeah, at the like, start at the start yeah. but right uh, yeah but this is the detective batman which we which fans have been wanting for a long time to see on the big screen true and um, for those of you who might not know dc uh, itself stands for detective comics because that's what they that's the kind of uh, that's the range of comics they went for initially right when they started this brand called dc mm. right and the initial versions of the batman uh, the initial iterations of batman were very focused on how he was uh he was a detective basically yeah. right and uh, the best evidence is um in some of the earlier comics uh, one of his greatest foes or one of the uh, biggest villains in the rogues gallery of batman uh, ra's al ghul calls him detective mm. right he never refers to him as bruce wayne yeah, or yeah. batman he calls him the detective, detective yeah, right yeah, yeah. so um so it was very refreshing to see the detective batman on the big screen and and to add to that the the what you mentioned ben netflix little investigation that he carries out at the start of that movie is solely dependent on technology and the fact that alfred is in the earpiece mm. and telling and that's how superman mm. hears that he's batman yeah, and yeah. all that nonsense but here the the dependence dependency of batman on technology is quite low yes uh, he uh, and in fact even his batmobile mm. that you know everyone love to see yeah is a is a basically not a high tech version like we see in other movies yeah. and t- at this point i should say that i love the introduction even I to wish. batman when he walked in and said i am vengeance so i yes. think from this point we're talking about the movie so yeah okay jeeva uh, will jeeva will do the yes. magic yeah. but but uh, so we'll be talking about spoilers from this point onwards so you will do the do the magic the thing yeah so um so start the scene i yeah. love the fact that they create this fear factor where the uh, paint can is rolling off into the dark and that guy mm. is like scared to look at the dark the, the shadow to see where the batman is there i love that scene i one of the best character introductions of batman i've ever seen in the big screen absolutely and and uh, that being the same applies to the vehicle i think the vehicle was actually better vehicle when, definitely when, better when you see the vehicle when you see you can't see the vehicle initially before the, at the point that they introduce the vehicle it's like covered in darkness and uh, you hear the engine revving yeah and then everyone and then, is wondering yeah what it is and then you see the exhaust go out yeah. and then that introduction was absolutely <laughs> and even the even the scene where penguin is being chased yes the entire chase scene was really? i think second only in my opinion or in in fact on par with joker and the batman and the bat the mm. motorbike scene oh, yeah yeah um that was quite uh, i mean that was the best batman chase that i had mm. seen before this batman scene. and the fact that he comes out of the flames mm. and then that guy shouting penguin shouting i got the batman but then <laughs> you see him coming out of the flame and those uh, those Five seconds of introduction that the Batmobile got in this movie <laughs> made me want an entire TV show based <laughs> on just the Bat- Batmobile itself. <laughs> whoever, <laughs> whoever, I mean, the designer of this this piece is uh, brilliant, off, brilliant, off. brilliant. Uh, so, finally, I want to talk about the costume. 
yes of the batman right so a lot of uh, uh, discussion revolves around every year when a new oh, batman yeah, yeah. movie For comes sure. it's the, it always starts with Uh, the casting and then the costume acted by you know yeah. like you know there was a petition to remove ben affleck, ben affleck. as batman yeah. if i'm not mistaken yeah, yeah, because yes. of other oh. other issues but no. uh, let's talk about the costume now christian bale's co- the fact that you mentioned mm. the christian bale's uh, seriousness was taken mm. as a joke sometimes was because of his neck move mobility yes, yes and for sure and a lot of people spoke about the fact that he can't move mm. his head if he wanted yeah. and you can see that happening in the opening of i think dark knight mm. uh, when there's the yes. dogs and yes. the vehicle yes. he can't look the other but way but they actually address it in the movie itself and then he later goes on to uh, morgan freeman's character may i forget his name fox yes lucius fox mm. and then um, he literally says that he can't yeah, he, can't move he his, wants to yeah, play he can yeah, move his neck yeah, around yeah, yeah. So, so this um, has been addressed where he has his entire jawline invisible. Pattinson has his entire jawline invisible, and he looks good. I yeah, mean, he looks yeah. like a bloody vampire. Yes. So every time you see Pattinson and and him on a profile shot, yeah, yeah, you see his entire face, and it yeah. and he looks really good. And the horns, the mm. the yeah, the antennas or whatever mm, the mm. thing you call yes. it, the bat ears. The bat ears. The bat ears oh. are. I mean. He, He doesn't have ears, no man. Who took a candle? Got it? No, no, me neither. But whatever those are, yeah. But Harry, but ears, Jesus, ears yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> are also taller than other yes, Batman costumes. Yes. Um, Makes it look slightly more menacing. Yeah, I guess. yeah, yes, yeah, 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 yeah. And and uh, and uh, yeah, Catwoman, the, yeah, Catwoman's yeah. Uh, attire also. Mm. The fact that all the Catwomen that we have seen in the past have had. have been wearing gloves yeah. but in this it's her nails that have been made into sort of yeah. claws or whatever correct me if i'm wrong i don't think they ever mention her, uh, they they ever mention her as catwoman in the movie no. not even once not even batman uh na, the batman ke like sir akhar the sir akhar maximum kiye na they don't they call yeah they so call he, him the bat uh, the bat no okay. they so that that's when Penguin is being confronted by the Batman and Gordon, mm-hmm. and then he says, so "What are you all doing, good cop and bad shit cop?" Yeah, that's yes. one time. Yes, and there is one other time where is uh, where they are talking about the uh, rat with wings. Yes, and then they say it could also mean a bat, and then they point at the bat. Okay, so they never refer to him as the Batman in the movie. Although the title of the movie is the, the Batman. Batman. Interesting. And they don't refer to Catwoman mm. as the Catwoman at any point. Yeah. and uh, she only says i have a thing for strays so yes, to say yes, that yes. you know she's who she is interesting but the twist that they bring in with all of these characters and that there is a mole or a rat uh, mm. in the in the the subplot basically is to me quite interesting as the main plot yes and uh, the fact that our main villain <laughs> mm. in the movie riddler is wear- wearing the mask of the zodiac killer yes is is and and the theory of the zodiac killer is i'm i'm sure people know this the yeah the mantle is taken off, mm. on by someone else every yeah. new yeah. time so mm. they refer to the same thing here also yes um all this all the, but what do you like about the flood do you like the flood scene i was actually not a big fan of the third act um the overall movie loved it absolutely loved it um i was not a fan of the ending um because uh i think they took this very weird angle with batman towards the end where they where they kind of um, try to portray him as a hopeful character <laughs> which um uh, selensky <laughs> yeah i mean <laughs> It's like this thing. Hurry, okay? They, it's a new movie, new iteration, new director, new scriptwriter, whatever. Up to them to make all their creative choices and decisions. I mean, but um, for me, Batman like um, has to always be someone who kind of plays hard to get with the law and who kind vigilante, of vigilante. Basically, he's a vigilante, and he shouldn't be someone that people likes. He, he shouldn't be someone who people looks up to. Mm. right or at least not until a certain point right because i mean um um so that so the for, so for that reason i was not a big fan of the ending and what what was riddler's big plot in the end i mean like blowing up uh, madison square garden was it 
Madison Square Garden. No, no, no. Gotham City. Go- uh, no, hurry, hurry. It was somewhere. I I don't I don't remember. Okay. Me anyway. So um, yeah. So blowing. Let's say let's call the city center. But like, what was his what his end game was, and his motivation for the end game wasn't mm. quite clear to me. Mm-hmm. I mean, me me. I think even if it was clear. me i do i don't think it was that interesting i mean why he would why he would do yeah, something yeah, like yeah. that someone so intelligent you know mm-hmm. and uh, so i i was not a big fan of the third yeah act yeah lots basically. of people that i spoke to the final scene of the third act yeah yeah the, the whole ending basically oh, oh, yes uh, but are there discussions to make another movie there is there is another joker movie coming also is is Yes, the one with uh, yeah the this, the this one Joker with, that you see yes, yes. at a certain point of this movie, um, but that no no no. So I thought you were referring to me Walk in Phoenix. No no no. Joke. There is a there. I I'm not sure. Oh. I think the fact that they show a Joker or oh. character that we think is Joker yes is a continuation of some sort. They show a Joker in this movie. What do you mean? Uh, so you mean it's a build up to the next to movie. the next movie. All ah, right. So okay. I I believe that you know like now in this movie as if you really like takes in by seeing the fact that he's the Batman at the start nobody really gives a shit about him being the Batman. Mm. Like the twins at the club. Yeah. Uh he gets beaten up. Uh Fal- uh Penguin when you first meet him mm. doesn't give a shit. No. Catwoman doesn't give a shit. Yeah. So there is a lot of like nobody really understands that he is Batman. Like okay, he's just mm. wearing a cape and running around. Yeah. and then you see the batmobile and you're like okay this guy something somewhat serious yep. and the riddler is also now what we understand as riddler is now riddler knows that he's bruce wayne in the comic yeah so here when he says bruce wayne does mm. does he mean that he knows what he's talking about or is he making a guess so so for that i feel that is what they're trying to do by making the people like him or, or make him known make him popular right not as a good guy mm. per se mm. or or a uh, character that is hopeful a hope hope creating character yeah. but as a character in itself there is a guy called batman right so that is what i felt like was happening mm. and then the fact that they show the mayor's the mayor elect's hand being taken and the child trusting batman yes that was i think how batman begins mm-hmm. also has has a connection to that movie one of my favorite scenes in the movie was the thumb drive scene <laughs> absolutely, <laughs> at the start <laughs> absolutely <laughs> brilliant <laughs> yeah 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 They're from the riddler uh, so so that whole process of solving this crime that was what was really interesting to me about this movie the yeah, whole yeah. detective angle yeah 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 so i think if they actually finished it kind of like seven or the even the zodiac movie hmm. right because obviously this movie had a lot of references to the movie seven Mm right um so obviously the movie seven ends is a bang right uh one of the most traumatizing endings of any thriller ever so maybe i i was kind of hoping for that kind of ending but maybe this was like a typical maybe a cgi movie ending mm. or maybe big mm. blo- blockbuster movie ending ek wage padi maybe similarities vibe ga tippa so i wasn't a big fan of that um but having said that um yes the detective angle the acting was absolutely brilliant um obviously the casting choice was spot on um so many things uh worked for this movie right yeah so that's let's see what people who watched the movie have to say hopefully there yeah. be we'll get the uh, usual people's comments coming in yeah and uh, as i said there were spoilers so watch with uh, you know caution when you watch it but uh, tell us what you think as well about the movie yeah cool all right so see you guys with the next episode subscribe Bye-bye. and uh, you know keep watching thank you mm-hmm. i am vengeance